It is 8.20 in the morning. I've already been awake for literally hours. She was literally like jumping on my head. I, what was it, 5.20 this morning? She would literally book it up over the side of the bed right here and run across my face, not jump over it, run across my face. So then I rolled over and then she started running across the back of my head. I haven't been able to go back to sleep. She woke us all up. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. It is 8.40 a.m. guys. I am just sitting at my favorite little spot. I just had my favorite little breakfast, which is coffee and watermelon. You guys already know. We've got some work to do today. I've got a lot of work to get done. A lot of mosaicing to get done really, but at least all of the bases are done. All of the glasses are cut for it. So all I've really got to do is just start assembling these mosaics. So that's good. But I'm going to finish up my coffee. I already had watermelon. I already took care of the girls. Windows are open. Dogs are fed. Cats fed. I think we're ready to go. So I'm just going to finish up my coffee. Then we can go into my office and get going. That's literally the only plan. Well, the only plan I have for today. I had to cut a nail off, by the way. I have to fix this today, too. So I guess that's part of the plan for today. So this is something else I got to do today. But other than that, got to get work done. Probably going to do a little bit of shopping with my mother-in-law because we've been doing that a lot lately. And other than that, that's it, guys. Just doing a little bit of working, hanging out, shopping. Yeah, I think that's it. Maybe a little bit of yard work, too. I don't know. Let's see where the day takes us. Which, speaking of, Alexa, what's the weather for today? Today, you can look for mostly sunny weather with a high of 83 degrees and a low of 65 degrees. Eight? Have a good morning, Mackenzie. 83 is like too hot for me. We'll see where the day takes us. I'm going to finish up my cup of coffee and then I'll meet you guys in my office. Okay guys, just finished replacing this nail really quick. So now it is time to get to work, but I just picked up another one of my artist outfits yesterday. So this is very similar to one that I picked up from Target last year, but this one just doesn't have the waist tie. So it's definitely a lot looser. And this one has a much wider leg. So it's got a much wider leg and it kind of cropped at the ankle. But I get questions all the time about all of my artist outfits. The majority of them are from Amazon and Target. So I figured I would show you guys this one too because it's in stock right now. I picked it up at Target yesterday so you can probably find it online. They had it in this like distressed gray color and they also have it in like a olive green color. So it's the same brand as my other one. It's Universal Thread. So if you go on target.com, you can just type in that brand and type in like jumpsuit or something. But yeah, I figured I would show you guys really quick. It's got two pockets on the front, one pocket on the back. And again, I think I like this one better than the one I picked up last year because it wasn't such a high neckline and I don't like to have to wear something underneath it. So this one comes up like just kind of high enough where it hides enough of my bra that I'm not like self-conscious or worried about what it looks like. So yeah, I really like this one. Super comfortable universal threads from Target. Yeah, okay, so it is now, what time is it? 
It's now 10.54. I've got the next mosaic I'm working on ready. I've got everything set and ready to be glued down. So that's what I'm gonna work on now. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit closer. I gotta get this mosaic done. And probably meantime, I'm gonna watch um, Legally Blonde because I haven't watched it in a long time. Okay, so I couldn't find Legally Blonde for free anywhere on any of the many, many apps that are available. Showtime, Netflix, Hulu, um, Tubi, anything. So I'm gonna watch Showgirls instead and Showgirls is for free right now on the Tubi app. I don't like that app, but I will choose it if it has something specific that I wanna watch for free. You definitely wanna watch the uncensored version. It is kooky. Let's just put it that way, but it has Elizabeth Berkley in it. She stars in it from Saved by the Bell, and it is a cultural, iconic movie. If you haven't seen Showgirls, I definitely recommend it, but it's one of those movies that is like, it's so bad, it's good. I hate to say that, but it is that movie. It is so bad, but it's so good. It is about a, I don't know, let's just say a girl that moves to Las Vegas and has a bit of a past and wants to become a Las Vegas showgirl. So. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's definitely adults only. And again, it's a little bit kooky. And when I say a little bit kooky, I mean not as intense as Greasy Strangler, but it's definitely no Harry Potter. So check it out if you haven't seen it. It's a crazy movie, but I love it. And I haven't watched it in a long time. So I'm gonna let that play while I get some work done. So like I said, I'm going to work on this mosaic, but before I pour out my glue and start gluing all of my tiles down, I'm going to post on Instagram. I have a time lapse that I prepped from the last mosaic that I just made. So I'm gonna post that on Instagram Reels first and then I'll get going on this mosaic. Twelve forty-seven. I just put some pizza bites in the oven. Love pizza bites once in a while. I think I am going to run to TJ Maxx with my mother-in-law. I think TJ Maxx and HomeSense because I really want the specific egg chair that I found at TJ Maxx. And for some reason, I was googling it, and the first links that were popping up was recall TJ Maxx recalls certain egg chairs. Thankfully, the exact one I want is not that brand, but I don't know if they're going to pull all egg chairs from the floors or whatever. So I wanna go try to get it. Hopefully it's still there, we'll see. So anyways, it's almost one o'clock, waiting for these pizza bites to be done. Gonna eat those, run to the store. Because I'm with my mother-in-law, I'm not going to film. But like I said, I'll show you guys everything I pick up as soon as I get back. Be right back. Okay, so it is 4.30 in the afternoon now. I just got back from doing a little bit of shopping with my mother-in-law. We were originally going out, like I said, to find this specific egg chair. I couldn't find it on the floor. Up in the held or sold corner was the egg chair. The only one, that was the only one I had saw a couple days ago when we went. Somebody purchased it or put it on hold. So I was so friggin' bummed. Then we start the manhunt or egg chair hunt of the day. So we start going around to different TJ Maxx's, Home Goods, Home Sense to try to find another one of these egg chairs. Can't find one, still can't find one, absolute bummer. But I think I found one that I might like online on Amazon, so I might just get that. More money to Bezos, but whatever. I didn't get a lot from HomeSense. It's actually Halloween decor, which I'm completely changing the style of decor I'm gonna do this year for Halloween, I think. These are the first few things that I picked up for Halloween so far this year, so we'll see. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to commit to this thing for my whole house. Maybe I'll just do one room, like the pastel Halloween room, and you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. But I got a few things at HomeSense. I picked up clothes and a couple random things at TJ Maxx. This is why I said pastel Halloween. Can you guys see these colors? So these are the classic TJ Maxx or HomeSense glass light up pumpkins that I'm sure you guys have seen before if you've shopped at these stores. They're just battery operated iridescent glass pumpkins and they have LED um, string lights or twinkle lights inside of them. So I picked up this really pretty pink iridescent they also had it in this very pretty blue color so again it's this pastel iridescent blue color and of course the hardware is silver because i have to have silver not a gold, gold girl then i found this one so this one almost has like a feather design detailing or feather design texture but once again it is that pastel pink iridescent glass 
and again it lights up if i see more of them i will pick up more and kind of just add to the collection of the pastel pumpkins i've got now anyways those are the three things that i picked up from home sense everything else i got at tj Maxx. first things first i found this cute little t-shirt so this is 8.99 it's just one of those like super jelly fabric do you guys know what i'm talking about it feels so like lightweight and cool and floppy feeling i don't know how else to describe it but it's just a cute little crop top i got it in what size i think i got medium so it can be extra comfy oh it is the extra small so i picked up the extra small because it's definitely already an oversized fit but i figured that's a cute little crop top to wear on comfy days gardening days or even as pajamas i love that nine bucks for a cute little crop top that's super comfy love it okay this is the second thing i got you guys are going to be like what the heck I love wicked comfortable moo's. I like two-piece sets, but I like oversized dresses, oversized t-shirts, stuff like that. So for pajamas, most of the time I shop in the plus size section just because it's really, really comfortable. So I'll get like XXL moo's or dresses to wear to bed because it's just so much more comfortable. So I saw this hideous thing. This is like this is your grandma's mumu you know what i'm saying this is 100 percent your grandma's mumu it was just something about it it's a wicked light white color and it's got a light gray pinstriping but it's see-through in those sections and then at the bottom <laughs> it's got this ruffle at the very bottom and it's a pretty much full length mumu so yeah i thought this was super super comfortable i absolutely love stuff like this totally totally into the i'm a grandma vibe so this one was 19.99 worth every penny if you ask me to have a nice comfortable mumu to wear to bed love it moving on to another white something so i'm trying to wear more white or more gray i don't really like gray that much i've been leaning more towards white and i found this in the clearance section so it was 20 bucks it only came down from 25 but i found this really cute comfortable stretchy white dress so it's got that super stretch 90s tube top style top it's got pretty thick straps and then it's got this almost doily looking cut out all the way down the dress which is super cute and again this is just a nice summer dress that i don't have to think about and i don't think i'll feel super uncomfortable in it because it's all white let me show you guys what this looks like from far away so you can see the whole thing okay now can you guys get the vibe i will say i wish it had pockets but that's okay i think it'll be super super cute okay so just a couple more things left this i found last second going through the aisles it was the only one there so this is my type of charging cable for one of my ipads and for my phone currently and for my gopro actually so the type c cable it was on clearance for three bucks you cannot beat that three dollars for a 10 foot silver glitter charging cable love it so i picked up that too because why not you can never have enough chargers of course you guys know me i am an absolute candy fiend so i got the rainbow sour belts this was 4.99 and it is 16 ounces and again i had to get this hideous grandma rose mug so cute but i am the queen of roses so had to get it love it and the very last thing that i got is a refill of my clarifying lotion so toner from clinique and i get the number one because i have very dry slash dry skin so yeah that's the last thing that i got the clinique bottle and it was 19.99 which i love can't beat that that is it that is everything i picked up at home sense and tj maxx so i'm just gonna put all of this stuff away and then i'm going to get back to work okay guys so i was just getting ready to finish up this mosaic, but I have to mow the lawn because my little chihuahuas will refuse to go outside in the grass if it's too long and it is growing like weeds this summer. So I have to weed whack and mow the lawn. So I'm gonna go do that right now before it starts getting too late.
Okay guys, I just finished watering the lawn, so I wrapped up the hose, put the hose away. Now I am back inside. I'm about to fill this up because I need to fill the humidifier in the plant room. It's now that it's summer, it's fine when I like I first get up, but having to run the central air, the humidity in that room drops so fast. So it's down to 35% right now. And the type of plants I have, that is not good. So I gotta pretty much have the humidifier on constantly and obviously in the winter as well. The winter is extra dry. But as soon as I kick on that central air, it's like the humidity just immediately drops in there. So I've gotta fill it up. Yeah, the humidity is 33% right now. That is definitely not good enough. You guys see all that stuff over there? Oh yeah, speaking of, if you guys ever wanna send anything over to any of the soldiers, let me know and I'll just send it over to my husband and he can share it with everybody over there. So yeah, if you guys wanna send anything over to anybody, they're in Saudi Arabia right now. It's really, really hot. They don't have access to, they don't have access to food. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Not good food. It's rough. It's really, really rough. So if you guys ever want to send anything at all, let me know. We'll hook that up. We'll figure out a way to um, get you guys to be able to send stuff right over to them. I probably should try to just get a little bit more work done and then I'll stop and take a shower. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Let's get a little bit more work done. Okay guys, it is now 6.10. I'm getting tired, which means it's time for a shower. 6.10, I'm going to, I feel like I should point out that I do take very, very long showers. By the time I'm out of the shower, it's like 7.30. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so it's 6.10. I finished this mosaic. I'm glad I finished another one because I've got to restock this coming Sunday. And it's Tuesday, bitch, so it is time to hurry up because I've only got two mosaics really done. And this is going to be the mosaic update, so I want to have at least five or six mosaics done, which I'm sure you guys know is very difficult to accomplish in a short amount of time. So anyways, like I said, it is 6.10. Or is it 6.20? 6.10. 10. I'm going to stop and take a shower. And again, like I just said, I'm really going to try to not start working after I shower. I'm going to try to relax, play with the kitten, maybe edit a little bit on YouTube. That doesn't count as work. <laughs> At least I can sit while I'm doing that, okay? All right, shower time. Let's go. I know myself well. It's 7.32. <laughs> it's 7.32. I, see, I told you. That's why I have to get into the shower at like 6 o'clock. Be taking an hour and a half showers. No, it's not even that I'm taking an hour and a half shower and wasting mad water. Most of the time what I do, because I have two chihuahuas who are very needy dogs, and now a cat, and I think because my life is so immersed in my work, because the second I go onto that main floor of my house, I'm like work mode. That's just how it is. I can't even tell you the last time I sat on my couch. I literally have no idea. Let me actually try to think of that. When is the last time? I probably haven't sat on my couch since before my husband left. So a long time. Anyways, point is when I go into the bathroom, I think I've told you guys this before. I always just end up standing there for mad long before I even turn the shower on. I kind of just go into the bathroom, shut the door, and I just watch videos on my phone and zone out for a while. Then I turn the shower on, get in, still watch videos in the shower, <laughs> and then get out. I take my time. Where are you? I hear you meowing. You doing, floppy girl? You doing, floppy girl? 
I'm just going to lotion up my body, do my skincare, and get my pajamas on. Okay, so before I start getting dressed and putting my lotion on, I just wanted to show you guys this really quick. So, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed this before. It's probably the only thing that I'm self-conscious about on my body, but on my favorite chest tattoo right here, I have a pretty significant scar. Um, this. Uh, granted, it was a lot worse. So, when this first appeared, many months after this I got this tattoo it was the weirdest thing so healing it looked absolutely beautiful it was perfect the shading was great loved it and then out of nowhere this gigantic scar bumpy looking thing appeared on my chest right here now again this has gotten a lot better in the last few years I don't remember how long I've had this now quite some time and it's gotten better on its own but it is still pretty bad it's a significant scar Thankfully, I wear a lot of jewelry, so it's covered. I love this tattoo still. I still get tons of compliments on it. But for some reason, I don't know why, this was suggested to me on Amazon. So this is called Piercing Bump Treatment. Soothes and shrinks bumps, keloids, and scars. So I don't know if this is going to work. I don't have high hopes for it. I'm just... I'm just doing it to see if it works. If it does, cool. If not, totally fine. How to apply gently massage our oil onto your bumps, keloids, and scars two to three times daily until healed. Be patient as this can take several weeks depending on severity. So, I mean, the reviews on this were actually pretty friggin' good. So I'm hopeful. I don't know why it, was, why it was suggested to me, but it was. So I'm just giving it a try. We'll see what happens. I just started doing it yesterday, so we'll see. I've got some pretty good before pictures. And again, like I said, it's already healed up pretty significantly on its own. So if this doesn't do anything, I'll be totally fine with it. But if it does, fantastic. And how everybody doesn't know about this stuff, I don't know. I don't know if it's a keloid. I don't know if it's a scar. I don't have keloids or scars anywhere else i've had and have many piercings many tattoos and that's never happened so that leads me to believe it is just a scar so i don't know we'll see it was the weirdest thing when it had originally popped up so 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 strange but whatever we'll see if it works fingers crossed guys all right so like i said i'm just going to lotion up my body do my skincare and get my pajamas on Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. Be careful. <laughs> oh my god. Do I like Guys, I'm so bummed I didn't get that on camera. That was literally the cutest thing ever. Oh my god, I'm so pissed. Something is going on with either my camera or my SIM card, and that sucks because I'm on the G7X now. I've never dropped this camera or anything or gotten it wet, so I hope it's not the camera, but it was having issues reading the SIM card earlier today, so this SIM card's probably just about to shit the bed, but I'm pissed I didn't get that on camera. Alrighty, guys, as you can see here, I am writing something down. I have been writing a little letter to my husband every single day, kind of just giving him a summary of what me and all the girls did for the day, the dogs and the cat, just so he can kind of feel a part of our lives since he's so far away from home. So I write him just a little summary of the day and take a picture to go with it. So that's what I'm doing here. It's about 940 at night now. And after I do this, we're going to get ready for bed. Alrighty guys, it is 10.30 at night. If you saw the TV, you already know Harry Potter's on. All the Harry Potter movies are like my ultimate comfort movies. I love them so, so much. I could truly watch them every single night and not have a problem. If you guys have noticed one of my larger forearm tattoos, 
the dark mark from Harry Potter. Absolutely love them. So yeah, like I said, it's 10.30 at night. I'm just going to watch a little bit more Harry Potter and probably or hopefully fall asleep. I don't know if you can hear, but Solstice is still downstairs playing. I got Nova right in between my legs and Armada's down in her bed, but she'll be up here in a minute. So yeah, I think that's it for today's video, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video if you did, comment down below and let me know what do you want to see next, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!